guys welcome back to my channel it's Malik Wajante today I'm going to show you how I condition my hair after I go ahead and take these braids or twist out whichever one but you must take care of your hair after it's been up into a protective style so let's go ahead and get into the video Right, so as I had my mini jam session, I took those um, twists out of my hair. Everything is out, and now I want to go ahead and detangle my hair as well as get any of the shedded hair that was sitting in my hair while it was up in this protective style. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair up and then go ahead and use a wide tooth comb as well as a paddle brush and just detangle my hair. I try to start at the ends and then work my way into the roots because that's where my hair tends to be tangled at and the worst thing is to wash your hair while your hair is tangled and create a bigger mess and more tangles. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I'll go ahead and start with this paddle brush it was giving me some issues, so, you know, I said, yep, let's go ahead and use a wide tooth comb. So I'll go ahead and detangle my hair, and then I do it in sections so I'm not overwhelmed, and go ahead and two-strand the, the hair that I've detangled and move on to each section to make sure that the hair is detangled before I wash and condition my hair. This is where I go ahead and two strand twist it on up and leave it be. I don't have to twist it all the way to the end because it's just about to come all the way back down so that I can wash my hair. But I just want it out the way um, so that I can wash my hair. So at the top, we've detangled the rest of my hair and I'm just working <laughs> with this alfalfa situation and detangling the rest of my hair. Um, yeah. It's, it's a mess, you know, it's a process, but you know, the part, the point of a protective style is to protect your hair. And if you don't care for it after, then you have a bigger mess at hand. I've gone ahead and detangled the top after the twist um, I'm just gonna take the rest of these two strand twists out and comb it out and make sure I got all that excess hair out of the way and comb through it all and make sure I got those tangles out before I go ahead and wash my hair Now this is freshly washed hair. I did use the Shea Moisture um, Black Jamaican Oil, I think, um, shampoo, but I'm using this Ion Conditioner. It's really good for natural hair and a healthy scalp, which is what you want. So it is a little bit medicated, which I love. I love to have my scalp tingle a little bit as it's conditioning. I don't know, in my head, it just makes me feel like it's opening up my pores or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know. But I enjoy it. I love it. So I go ahead and section my hair off and I start with the back. I go ahead and use a, I, I love conditioner. So I use a lot of conditioner. I go ahead and put it on my wet hair, smooth it all the way to the ends. And then I go through and section it and rake it out. Just like if I was doing a wash and go with like Eco Styler, I go ahead and rake the conditioner through with my fingers all the way to the ends. 
And I try not to do too big of a section because I want to make sure I get conditioner on all of my hair. So it's nice and moistened. Moistened. Is that a word? Doubt it. And then I go in with that good old paddle brush and make sure that I got it through all of my hair. Look at those curls. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So what I did to one side, I do to the rest of my head. So I'm going to go in, use a whole lot of conditioner, go ahead and put that on all of my hair all the way to the ends which is the oldest piece of your hair so you want to make sure that is moisture moisturized the best and then go ahead and rake it through so start at the bottom and rake that conditioner through with those fingers scratch a little bit scratch a little bit you know your hair is breathing now so it's just like mm. I'm so happy you let me breathe. Yes, I'm loving it. I love this conditioner. I'm so happy I found it. I actually found it on the clan section at Sally's. And I'm happy I purchased it. I'm glad I got two bottles as well. Because it is thebomb.com. So I've gone ahead and conditioned all of my hair. I'm just using a wide tooth comb to make sure, or a wide tooth comb, this paddle brush, to make sure that this conditioner has gotten through all of my hair. I've colored my hair recently, so I just want to make sure that my hair stays moisturized throughout this color process because color can dry your hair out. Scratch a scratch, scratch a scratch. Yes, ugh, ugh. Yes, that's how I felt. I felt heavenly. But look at these curls and I'll go ahead and let that sit on my scalp for a good, you know, 30 minutes or so. From there, I go ahead and rinse that out. Yeah, my hair was so itchy or my scalp was so itchy, but the conditioner did wonders. Love it. Curls are the bomb. My hair is very much so tight curls. But after I condition it, I use some black castor oil just to keep my hair moisturized as best as possible. And I apply that all over my head, especially on my edges, because we want to keep those as healthy as possible. And I try and work it through and just let my scalp know I love it. We are friends. We are homies for life. And then I go in with this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner, which I've been loving. It smells amazing amazing and I just apply that all over my hair I probably use too much but I mean can you really have too much conditioner is that ever a thing ever I don't think so so I go ahead and apply a whole lot of leave-in conditioner a whole lot as you can see my hair is white but what I did with the other conditioner I'm doing with this conditioner and that is making sure I get it from the tip to the roots. So I go ahead and use that paddle brush and make sure that it's all the way through so that my curls are filling all of this conditioner. Where I see some of the conditioner get, didn't get on the hair, I go ahead and add some more just to make sure it gets some love too and comb and brush it all the way through, honey. Yes, ma'am. Look at them curls, y'all. They just, they just living their they best life. Their best life right now. All right, y'all. So after I go ahead and add all of that con leave-in conditioner to my hair, I just let it sit on there and let it soak in the conditioner and that's really all I do to take care of my hair after I've had my hair up in a protective style for however long, whether it be a month or two months or whatever, but 
I make sure I give it some moisture and some love and I just let it embrace all the conditioner that it can possibly handle. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.